Good afternoon, YouTube. This is uh, uh, one of two videos that I'm doing today. One is uh, uploading as I speak, or it has finished uploading because I shot it with my phone. And this, this one is a review of a pack that I decided to go out and test today when I went to go live stream an event. And this is called the iLive solar backpack. There is the logo here. Not very big. But the reason why it's called solar is because it has a solar panel in it. And I will remove that now because it can be removed. This is the solar panel. It has one USB port here where you plug in the item that you want to charge. And then it has an indicator light that glows red when it's on and what's exposed to the sun. It works with the incandescent as well as solar. It does not work with fluorescent, so this light is not making it glow, and neither is this one, my LED little book light that I have above my monitor to provide some additional lighting in right at my uh, camera. But it, this hole here is for this part to poke through when it is in the pocket so that you can plug your item in without it having to remove the panel itself. pocket here has a little bit of organization. It has two pockets here to put items in. And then a larger pocket for additional items. And it has but I'll get into that in a little bit. I'm just giving you an overview of the bag itself. It has another pocket here, which has two pen pockets, but I got three pens in them, and a small, another small pocket right here, and another, and another big pocket to put items in. I just have the a few things in there. Oh, and then I, the main part of the pack, this big pocket, which I have very little in, is big enough to hold a large laptop in its sleeve. If I needed to do that, it has a zipper pocket here. And then it has another pocket here that's just elastic. And then the main then the main pocket and that is it for for its organization. I would have preferred a little bit more uh, organization in this pack, considering what it is is intended for. pocket here. Which could be used to hold a small item like a phone. This is this this fits in there. Um 
in the middle of charging it, so I just unplugged it just to show that it fits in that pocket. And that is in in the case. So the little pocket there, and it has its own zipper. It has a clip. It has a, a sternum strap, which can be positioned. When I got the pack, it was down here. I put it up one because that's where it felt comfortable for me. The webbing on here is not slick. It does not move. I walked about four blocks to the location, four blocks back, and it did not slide one bit. And neither did the straps here. This did not slide. But what I will show you now is the issue that I have with this bag. Well, these are supposed to be compression straps, but the material is very slick. And this is my long tripod. This is my my bigger tripod that I put in here in the water bottle pocket. And I wanted to use the strap to help hold it in place so that I could have it in the pack and not have to sling it over my shoulder. But watch. And if I would not have folded this end over and put a safety pin in it, this would have come right out. And it would have done exactly what these did. I thought I lost one of these, this part, but I just found it. Either this was a poorly chosen clip or poorly chosen strap material. Or it was not assembled properly. I could push it in this way, and it still slides. And this will just come right out. Another one of these straps over here. Again, it, it slides. I have my smaller tripod and my two monopods in this pocket. Then I, I pull it to tighten it, it can slide. This is one, this is a main drawback to this pack is the straps and or the choice of buckle. Now the buckle itself feels pretty strong, but the straps, because they're slick, they slide. The only way to fix that is to either sew it, and I do not have a machine capable of sewing through this. I would fold it over and then sew it again. Maybe I can try gluing it, or I can do mod those straps like I did these and put a safety pin in it, fold it over and put a safety pin in it to keep it from falling off, but that will not prevent the slippage unless I, I do something else with it, but other than that, this is a pack. Like I said, this is from iLive. I got it because I want to take it to a summer camp that I'm going to, a large group, and I'm going to be doing some video and photo shooting there. And I will need solar because there will not be electricity where we are going to be camping at. And I want to have portable power. So 
I have this plus the two smaller solar panels, the solar charges that uh, I have in this pocket. This one has a carabiner and I can hang it on on a, a D ring. That's one thing I like about this. There is a D-ring here. I can hang this and walk and charge. Or I could hang something here. Because this carabiner style clip, it, it feels pretty strong. It's hard to push in. Or I could simply uh, Another thing on there like that, walk and charge. Or I could hang a water bottle off of it, whatever I need. So if the straps, the side straps and the lid straps were like these, this would be a solid pack and I would give it a, a really good recommendation. But as it is, I'm going to write a review of this pack on the site where I bought it, and depending on the rating system that I can use, if it is the, like a 1 out of out of 5, I would probably give it a 2, maybe 3. If it was a, at a 10, maybe a 4 at best because of the straps and the buckles on the sides and the front. Otherwise, it would be a, an awesome pack to use. I will keep it nonetheless. I'm just going to have to modify it some more in order to prevent me from losing my stuff because I don't want to lose my stuff. Because I just bought this tripod to replace another one that broke. Now, I really like that other tripod, but it broke where the legs did. So. That other one has features that this one does not, and so I still may buy another one like that one. Just to keep it as a backup. But anyway, again, this is the iLive Solar Backpack. This is my, my take on it. If it was made better with better straps, on the sides and down here, it would be very, very good investment for those who do video shooting, photo shooting, any outdoor work where you have to have power, but you're not able to plug in anywhere. And if you have sunshine, yeah, this would work. These two faults, yeah, it's going to take some modification on my book. So, thanks for watching and catch on the flip side.